Come on, sit down. I don't care what you think to be hit that hard. To be hit that hard. There's easily this there could be some damage done. How does your head feel? It's not your own fault. Don't think like that. You know how many times I've cracked my head on some sharp corner? At least there is no blood. Let me. Feels okay, give me your hand. And take your pulse. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I just just make sure it's normal. I think it's between sixty and eighty, isn't it? But it's a little bit higher. A little bit higher than that, but I, I imagine the main danger is if it's lower than that, and not whether or not it's higher or lower. Grab yourself a drink from the canteen. That's very important. So I have um, a quick drink. Right. Do you feel dizzy in any way? Nauseous. is the last thing I'm going to allow you to do. Well, because even I know that you're not meant to sleep after you've had a knock on the head. Let's see how your eyes are getting on. Maybe a little brighter. Follow the lamplight. something uh, a doctor once in London did for me. If you look at the, the light of the lamp, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. seemed rather important to him. He 
Can you just blink normally? How many fingers am I holding up? And now? Well, if you're making jokes like that, I guess. Not too mad. How about now? Grab my hand and squeeze it as hard as you can. Don't worry, it's not going to hurt. Pretty strong. With the other. Pretty solid too. Have another drink of water. I'm just going to check your under your neck. What do they call it? They have a special name for it. If it gets swollen, then um, you have a problem as well. What do they call it? I guess it's not important to know what things are called, is it? It's more important to know how they're used. Do you think you'd ever hear another excavator say that? Imagine if an Egyptologist heard you that, saying that. I don't feel any swelling there. I think. It feels about the same as mine, I think. Touching your nose with your eyes closed. I still think you shouldn't go to sleep for some time. Just sit here with me. And you can head back to your tent. Try to rest, but try not to go to sleep. You know, I had a... It's rather irrelevant, I guess, but... Um, I heard a, a doctor once in London speaking. He was part of the um, Archaeological Society, and he said he'd conducted experiments on those who couldn't sleep. Insomnia. Anyway, he would measure the amount of time it took for people to fall asleep. And what would happen during that time of falling asleep? And what he found was, coincidentally, he wasn't looking for it, but he found that if he told people just relax and try to fall asleep. It would take them longer to fall asleep if he told if he had instead told the person if he told them try to stay awake. I also thought that rather fascinating. I didn't like going to the society very much. Snobbish bores, a lot of them. look down on you. But, um, jealousy, I think. But 
But I always found that fascinating. He said it was something to do with the pressure and the stress of feeling tired and feeling like you're not able to go to sleep. You see, there's a certain amount of guilt around sleeping with people who can't sleep. And instead of feeling that guilt and that urgency to sleep, knowing that if you don't sleep, you will you will be more tired in the morning. I'm sure you've experienced the same thing as I have. You know, you wake up with your pocket watch by the side of the bed and you think to yourself, All right, if I go to sleep now, I'll have eight hours of sleep. Even with such a physical day, that should be more than enough. And then you check your watch again and you haven't slept and you're thinking, if I fall asleep now, I'll have seven and a half hours sleep, which isn't sufficient for me, but it would be better than having seven. And if in that fortunate situation, you're able to fall asleep, I can find myself waking up and looking at my clock and doing some mathematics and saying, ah, I have three hours left of sleep and waking up again, and I have two and a half hours left of sleep. Ah, I have two hours left of sleep. And it's almost self-defeating, isn't it? Because your sleep is so broken, and you spend so much time stressing about it. So he would always recommend just getting up and doing something, and not feeling that guilt, and knowing that, yes, you're going to feel a little bit more tired, but... There's no use in being stressed about it. There's nothing you can do about it. I completely digress. But I did think it was interesting. I thought it would be a way to pass the time. We found this today. Do you know what it is? Right. Horus the Falcon. Uh, well, I know that, but um, I still, I do like to. Um, uh, these things should be handled, I think, before they go in a museum. Dusty. Been around for. A long time not fulfilling its purpose. You know, I've never... I keep digressing. <laughs> I was going to talk to you about horrors just to keep you awake. I do worry that my conversational style is somewhat boring and does the exact opposite of what I'm trying to achieve. But, um... What was I saying? Of course, the Egyptians, the pharaohs, what was the one thing that was most important to them? Yes, but what do we mean by that? Immortality, not being forgotten. Now I like to think all of these mummies would be delighted to know that they are on show in the Cairo Museum being seen by thousands of people sometimes an hour. That's true immortality. 
and I have thought about it before as if to say, would they really want these things to be unearthed and disturbed? It must cross every archaeologist's mind. But the truth be told, this is exactly what they wanted. These are the monuments. Maybe not in the way they envisaged, but in a, a grander scale than the way they envisaged. And of course, Egyptian pharaohs are somewhat problematic anyway. Um, but yes, I like to think it fulfills their dying wishes. Of course, it's a ludicrous thing to say, and um, I'm sure many people disagree with it. And I can see why. Horus. The falcon. We found this as well today. Similar relief. And do you know what it is? Neither do I, if I'm honest. Um, maybe, maybe someone will know when we send it back. But Horus, how much do you know about Horus? Falcon. Usually a man with a falcon's head, but in this case we're seeing full falcon depict, which means it's an older piece. He was, um, many kings of Egypt were considered to be the living reincarnation of Horus. Some considered themselves the reincarnation of Ra, of course, yeah. The sun god. You can see the appeal. According to the Osiris myth, Horus was the son of Osiris. And his brother was Seth. Sorry, his Osiris' brother was Seth. And he killed Osiris. And so Horus was brought to life in order to take revenge. Tradition holds, and you can potentially see it here as well. Tradition holds that Horus lost one of his eyes left eye in the battle but it was magically restored and it brings together itself a myth of how the sun and the moon interact with each other his right eye being the sun and his right being the his left being the moon right being the same. And because his eye was slowly healed, it gives an explanation for the phases of the moon. Yes. I always thought that was one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite myths. We also found this. Do you know what that is? Sekhmet, yes. Depicted as a lioness. Slightly chipped. I don't think it's made of gold. In fact, I'm sure it's not. But it is solid metal. has a roughness to it. This was found next to one of the canopic jars, which isn't unusual. No, I do plan to keep it back one day, but um, right now it's... 
Oh, because she's the goddess of healing. Yes, warrior goddess, but also the goddess of healing. Seen as the protector of the pharaohs. It was her job upon death to guide them and defend them through the afterlife. I'm afraid that's all I have. Where were you from originally? Well, it's either that or the weather. And, um, well, the weather is a somewhat constant here. Except perhaps maybe for the winds and the storms. I see I don't know much about that. And you were always there, or? Keep talking, yes. It's interesting. I'm interested to hear it. Do you mind if I take another look at your eyes? Close your eyes for a few seconds. Right, open them again. but um, your eyes weren't really contracting or dilating. <laughs> um, well, I know I didn't want to worry you, did I? I think if this second time we'd had the same response, we would have to be straight off to Cairo with you. Well, obviously it looks all first, but, but they look much better now. Which is good. I was a little bit concerned. Push down on my hand. Yep. That seems very good now. Your speech seems absolutely fine as well. No, that did happen. Yes. I did get hit. Not lying about everything. I, I don't know how many times I could even count. If I'm honest with you, too many to, for me to hope to remember. I do. I do miss it a little. But again, the season is not exactly so long, is it? I think when I return, I shall... I shall visit Scotland. I've never been a big fan of the cold, but I, 
I feel like it'll be an interesting novelty after having spent so much time here. And of course it is riddled with history. So yes, I think I should visit some time there. Perhaps Edinburgh. A little bit of time in the, in the Highlands. Oh no, I would never live there. Very well. well. There are a few years left for that. But um, I think... I should like to stay in Egypt. I think I could envisage myself living in Cairo. I find it the most remarkable and beautiful city. And I am not a fan of the cold. And although it is somewhat unbearable in the summer, as long as you're not doing too much physical labour, it's rather pleasant. Gentle boat trips down the Nile, travelling across by sea to a few of the different islands and places around here. I think that would make for a fine retirement. Have another drink, the least thing you want is dehydration. I think it probably is too hot to sleep. But again, if you're trying not to fall asleep, that can be um, the exact opposite trigger. I think you should be okay now. Yes. Well, I'm going to head back out so you can stay here if you wish. Help yourself to the tea. I have obviously things that are stronger, but don't touch those. Not until later, or you can head back to your own dead. Probably only a few hours. Yes. As I say, rest up, but don't fall asleep. Hmm. I have a rather rubbish collection of um, books over there as well if you want to do some reading. Not all of them are academic. Good. You rest yourself up. I'll cut the day early and I shall see you in a few hours. <laughs>